Hi, welcome to LB0 Fox India Norwegian Ham Ventures. I'm Morten, LB0 Fox India. And a couple of weeks ago, I did a video about using USB-C power delivery to power a QRP radio. And I showed how it, how it worked theoretically, but I didn't show it in practice. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how this works in real life. I'm here at my usual POTA spot at November Oscar 2532, and you just have to excuse the lighting. It's December in Norway, so um, sun is always low, and um, I can't always choose where to park and where to start filming. And it's, it's really windy outside, so I can't really do it outside either. But what I'm going to do today, and I'm just going to reach over in my bag here, and what I'm going to do today is I'm going to use this USB-C power bank that I showed you in the last video. It's a 20 amp hour power bank. I'm going to use that with this USB-C power deliver cable that Bob LB5JJ made for me. And inside here there's a USB-C power delivery trigger chip. And what that does is that it tells the power delivery power source, in this case the power bank, to output 12 volts. This can output a maximum of 3 amps, but that's plenty to run, run a QRP rig. And the radio of today is, um, and it shouldn't come to as any surprise to any of you, especially if you've seen my latest videos. It's my number two in my top five 2024 list. It's the Zygu G106. Excellent little QRP rig. I really like this little rig. It's good. So that's what I'm going to use today. And antenna wise, I'm going to use a huge compromise, but that also to show you that compromises can sometimes be good. I'm going to use a um, hamstick, a 20 meter hamstick, because I think 20 meter is going to be the win in band today. And as you can see, the sun and the skies and everything makes lighting completely tricky here in order to make a video, but we're going to try nonetheless. So let's go ahead, hook up the radio, hook up the antenna and uh, start calling. And I'm going to show you how to hook up the power bank to the radio and that it works. And uh, we'll see if we can make an activation on a power bank. And um, I really hope so. And, well, I've actually done this before, though, but I really hope it'll work as good as I think. Because I'm going to Scotland in uh, three weeks from when I'm filming this. And um, I really want to use that for flying. So uh, let's go ahead. Let's uh, give it a go. And uh, let's see what happens. I'll be back when I put up the radio and um, the antenna. And I got to try to do this single handedly with the power bank. But as you can see, I have the radio right here. I have the USB C power cable coming out here. So we're going to plug that into it. And I'm just going to put it this way in order to do it the simplest way. Let's see if I get enough cable. I don't have enough cable to do that. Let's see how we can do this as easy as possible one handed with a camera in one hand. We got it like this. The power bank lights up. I'm not sure if you can see that. And we're going to do another trick though. We're going to hold the button to put that into trickle charge mode. Let's see if we can do that. And we're in trickle charge mode. So this will now power it on. We're at a 69% state of charge. And once we're done with the activation, activation, we'll see how much it is when we're done. And sorry about the shaky photography here, but um, it's the only way I was able to do it one-handedly. Let's just see if the radio power is on, though. And as you can see, the radio power is on here. So, what do you guys think? Should we just start calling? And I'll do as in my old activation videos. I'll uh, do some calls, I'll show you some B-roll, and we'll draw some conclusions afterwards. And do remember that we're at 69% state of charge. And there's of course one more thing we gotta do before I start calling, and that's the microphone. So let's plug the microphone in and um, check that. And 
and we got a free frequency. So let's go ahead and spot ourselves and start calling. CQ Parks and Deer, CQ Parks and Deer, CQ Parks and Deer. This is uh, Lima Bravo Zero Fox Threat India calling CQ Parks and Deer. Calling CQ Parks and Deer. Lima Bravo Zero Fox Threat India calling CQ Parks and Deer. For Park uh, November Oscar 2532, QRZ. Charlie Papa Golf. The Charlie Papa Golf, please. Echo Alpha 2, Charlie Papa Golf. Thank you, Pedro. Uh, you are about a 5x5, five 55 five, here, over. Thank you, and thank you for hunting, uh, 73. Uh, Mike 1, Sierra Delta Hotel. Mike 1, Sierra Delta Hotel. Thank you, Steve. 5-5, uh, 5-5. Five and five, five and five. Seventy-three, Steve, and thank you for hunting. Uh, Delta Lima Five Alpha Papa Whiskey. Delta Lima Five Alpha Papa Whiskey. Thank you. Five and nine. Five and nine. Uh, how's you again? Uh, also five by nine, Martin. Five by nine. Uh, strong signal in the center part of Germany. I wish you all the best uh, for twenty twenty-five. Thank you, and impressive with the five and nine only running QRP today. So thank you very much, and happy new year, seventy-three. To Echo Zero India Lima Foxtrot Park to Park. Thank you, Brian. You are 5 by 7 57 into November Oscar 2532. QSL. Okay, no problem. I saw your 572 into Gosla 0131 QSL. 0131. Is that QSL? Yes, 0131. Yeah. 0131. 131. QSL. QSL. Thank you, and enjoy your activation, 73. Uh, Fox Road 4, India, Sierra, Sulu. Let's see if we can get it now, Frank. Uh, 5 and 7, 57, over. Roger, roger, 4 by 4, QSB. You are in the log. Thank you for hunting, 73. Golf Zero, Romeo, Quebec, Lima. Thank you, uh, Don. And I'm guessing we're doing a club call as well. Uh, I certainly need the calls today. Uh, so uh, I'll log Mike Zero, Oscar Mike Charlie as well. You're 5 and 8, 58 to Don. Over. Roger, Roger. Good morning, all. And that was afternoon, a bit afternoon now. We're still just about morning here in the UK. So uh, thanks for the 5 and 8, Martin. Nice to work here. And yes, club call Mike Zero, Oscar Mike Charlie. Yes. Roger, Roger, and thank you for hunting. Happy New Year, Don. 73. Uh. And that was a quick 20 QSOs. Um, I didn't film all of those, and um, I'll probably cut more of those two out in the editing process. Um, but um, 20 QSOs in uh, 25 minutes, which is acceptable running QRP, especially since um, the last five of those were hunting stations. Uh, I did a little bit of park-to-park -park hunting uh, with the last stations there. Um, the more impressive part is that the state of charge on the power bank, and I'm gonna unplug it here and um, get it here and see if it's able to see, if you can see that. I'm not sure if that is visible though. Um, if it is, let's see if we can get it close enough. It's 60, 64%. And as I said, we started at 69%, so 5% state of charge. For 25 minutes, 20 QSOs on QRP. That means that this little battery will pretty much run forever. <laughs> no doubt about it. Um, which is, is good. So this actually proves that the USB-C power delivery thingy works. And I wasn't in doubt because Steve KM9G and Bob LB5JJ has kind of walked up this path for me um, going to this point where I started trying this. But this makes it so much more, as I've said several times, airplane friendly than bringing, let's for simplicity's case and, and for the perspective of the airport guys, call it a car battery with wires on it. 
This looks like something official, something that you're allowed to bring in a plane. And with 20,000 milliamp hours, it's actually the largest power bank you can bring on a plane. Let's see if it says number of watt hours here. Uh, this has 72 watt hours and you're allowed to bring 100 watt hours on most airlines per battery. Don't take my word for it though, if you're flying, do check the airline's guidelines before you bring a battery on board a flight. If so, get a 10,000 milliamp hour battery. As you can see, I lost 6%, I lost, yeah, 6%, 5%, let's see, 64, 50, 69, I lost 5% state of charge in 25 minutes. So if I had a 10,000 milliamp hour battery, I've lost, I'd lost 10% state of charge, I'd still have that battery forever. So that's good. Um, 20 QSOs, QRP, really impressed. A um, little bit pity that I ran QRP today because I heard a lot of North American stations and I knew that I wasn't able to cross the Atlantic today on QRP. Nonetheless, though, it's been a nice day out. It's actually the first sunny day in about two weeks, so it's nice. Now I'm going to go outside, shoot some B-roll, and lay over my QSOs, so you've already seen the B-roll. If you like this video, click that thumbs up. If you didn't, click that thumbs down if we watch this far. Um, chances are you haven't watched this far, but both are beneficial to me to see what you like and what you dislike. Uh, leave a comment down below. I'll try to respond as soon as possible. And speaking about the comments though, um, I got a comment from, I do not remember who it was, asked if there's any noise increase using these power banks and the power delivery. No, not as far as I've seen. They're pretty much noise free. Anyhow, thank you for watching. See you down the band. See you in my next video, 73, my friends.